Well, as of today, we are six weeks out from North Carolina's critical March primary. And one woman is trying to shake up the race for governor, opting to take on Democrat Roy Cooper this fall. CBS 17's Capitol reporter Michael Hyland sat down today with Republican Holly Grange to find out why she's running. Her announcement came as a, as a surprise to some people because for years, Lieutenant Governor Dan Forrest had been rumored to be planning to run for governor this year and be the Republican nominee. But Holly Grange says voters should be concerned about his electability. North Carolina needs somebody as governor who is not divisive. That's how Republican state rep Holly Grange responds when I asked her why she jumped in the race for governor. She's the only person challenging current Lieutenant Governor Dan Forrest for the party's nomination. Lieutenant Governor Forrest has been running for governor for seven years, but we need leadership in this role, uh, and I'm a proven leader. Grange is an Army veteran who graduated from West Point. Her son is the fourth generation in her family to serve in the military. I'm very mission focused. I like to get things done. A key thing that's still not done is the battle over the state budget. Democratic Governor Roy Cooper rejected raises for teachers, averaging nearly 4% over two years, calling them paltry. Lawmakers left Raleigh last week with no resolution. How would you bridge this divide? It takes leadership. Um, you know, when I look at the teacher salaries, you know, Governor Cooper has vetoed every teacher salary that has been put in front of him since he's been the governor. And, you know, I'd like to think I'm pretty good at math, and 3.9% is a lot higher than zero. On other issues, both Grange and Forrest support requiring sheriffs to cooperate with ICE and support a bill to mandate medical professionals care for infants that survive abortions. A difference, Grange voted to repeal HB2, known as the bathroom bill, a move Forrest opposed. And we need to bring people back to the table and discuss uh, what we need to do regarding non-discrimination ordinances. She's trying to convince voters she's the one who can do that amid a tense partisan divide. CBS 17 is committed to keeping you informed ahead of the March 3rd primary. You can find more of our interviews with the candidates in the coming week on the Capitol Report page on CBS17.com.